As you can see from the title, this is going to be my 26 things I have learned in 26 years. I have just turned 26. Birthday is February 9th and it's crazy like that I'm I've done I did one last year I did a 25 things I've learned in 25 years and I got a lot of positive feedback from it so I wanted to continue and do one for this year because it has been a huge year of growth for me and I kind of wanted to share my experiences and my advice and things that I did learn when I was 25 years old first thing I want to mention is just travel uh, travel as much as you can travel as often as you can it's expensive to book flights I know but every trip that I've gone on whether it was just driving um, to go at someplace out of state or to go across the country 5,000 miles I've always really been glad that I pushed through and did it so this past year I was able to not only go out to New York City for the first time but I also went to Hawaii for the first time and I got to take the train, I got to fly, and it had been a long time since I've forgotten to do any of that. So um, it's just great to get to do that and to see more of the world. It really gives you a better perspective on your life and your potential and options and things like that in the world. So I can't recommend more than enough to try to travel as much as you can. And that is the number one. Two, do things that scare you. And that sounds kind of crazy, but more so doing things that are out of your comfort zone. Try to do one thing every day that puts you out of your comfort zone because you really do grow as a person when you do that. For me, it was kind of going out to parties and someone that never drank in college and never really socialized in that way, putting myself out there was really scary, but it's how I made a lot of friends this past year and I really did grow and mature as a person as a result. Three, don't give up on love, even though you feel like you won't find the one. I've been single for over a year now, the whole time I was 25, no relationship. I got to experience dating for the first time in quite a few years, and it also did give me like a lot of perspective, and I kind of feel like I grew up and got to see part of what it's like in my generation dating wise sometimes you get really frustrated like i went through a phase where i was like happy being single and then i went through a phase where i was like i'm sick of being single i just want a boyfriend and it's it's easy to get kind of caught up in that but if you do remember like there is someone out there for you and you don't have to like rush into anything like there's nothing wrong with being single you it's it's you don't need to give up on love like I do believe it exists and I do think that there is someone for everyone there's a time and moment for everything and right now this few past year was me being single and I'm okay with that four family is always there for you now this sounds crazy and I know for some people it might seem like obvious or it might seem not obvious this past year my siblings have really helped me out like i got the flu and my brother came down to take care of me um my sister and i got really close and my parents were helping help me move my siblings helped me move into my new place that i'm here now just remember that they are there for you and you should be there for them five believe in yourself 25 was a year where i had a lot of self-doubt and it's easy to you know lose confidence uh i was laid off twice and it can be very like downing on your ego you feel like oh am i not good enough like what's wrong with me why is this happening to me and get discouraged too visiting schools realizing like oh i really want to like do medicine but i don't have a bachelor's in any kind of science like i'm behind like i don't know if i can do this lots of lots of like negative self-talk and it's really important to not get into that and to try to if you notice yourself kind of getting into a, a dark place or just not believing in yourself you just need to pick yourself up positive affirmations and just kind of confidence boost you you have to be your biggest advocate and you have to believe in yourself and again if you do that you can you're you can do anything six if you have a dream pursue it don't quit if you do have something that you want to pursue don't just 
let yourself get older and older and not pursue it try to, to make it happen if there is something you want to do career-wise some place you want to go like any kind of dreams you have like you want to start a company start start pursuing that start doing that i really didn't part of it was like i didn't believe in myself i didn't think i could go to medical school or go to pa school i didn't think it was an option for me i didn't think i was smart enough and now I ha that I have like the self-confidence and strength and belief in myself to do it, I'm making those moves to make it happen. And I think that's like a huge thing that I learned this past year. Seven, take care of your mental health in ways that work best for you. I specifically say that because for me, I found out that therapy is probably the best thing for my mental health. It really, you know, got rid of my depression, got rid of my anxiety and that's really what worked for me. I tried a lot of different medications. I tried group therapy and things, like all sorts of different things. And really what worked the most was one-on-one -on -one talk therapy. It really just depends on the person. Some people work really, really great with just medication for their issues. Some people, you know, don't need, don't have anything like that. But for me personally, just figuring out what finally worked for me and sticking to that was life-changing and really did help me in the long term. Eight. You can be single and happy. And I, for like most of last year, thought like, you know, I'm alone, I'm sad, blah, blah, blah. And it took me a while to really enjoy my own company, enjoy being alone and being content and like all right with being single. I was really just trying to like date as much as possible and trying to find someone and almost kind of like in a desperate attempt to not be alone and it only until like this past fall did I get to a point where I was like you know what it's kind of nice being single I get to be on my own I get to focus on myself and I I really don't have I get to have this like level of an independence that has really helped me grow as a person and so I'm, I'm actually gonna say like you definitely can be single you don't need to be with someone to be happy at all whatsoever yes it, it, it's nice and and there are perks to it but you it's not like your it doesn't have to be your end goal it doesn't have to be the you know what you strive for if it happens it happens nine don't be afraid to ask for help this was really hard for me especially once i got this like strong level of independence i didn't want to have to ask anyone if i was struggling I was like, I'm good, I can do anything on my own. I don't need help. And part of being, part of growing up is being able to realize when you do need to ask someone for help. There were times where I like needed a ride from a friend or I was feeling really down and wanted some company. It's okay to, to just open up and tell someone like, hey, I'm really lonely, do you wanna hang out? Being able to ask and like be aware of when you do need help and going to someone. 10. Keep up with YouTube. You love making videos and you're always glad that you have this content to look back on and share with others. And that is something I've been doing. I've been like pretty good about it lately. And I'm glad that this past year I really did start doing content and like coming out with it on a consistent basis. 11, you can judge a good friend by their actions more so than their words. There were a lot of friendships that I, new friendships and old friendships that were developed over this last year. I, I really did get to realize like who my good friends are and who are my not so good friends, mainly based on how they treated me. I mean, they both kind of, someone can say like, oh, I care about you or like, you know, ask how you're doing. But at the end of the day, it's, it's the friend that can give you a ride to the airport or the friend that, you know, invites you to make dinner with them. Those are the people that you want to stick close, not the people that just say like, oh yeah, we should meet up sometime and then never really try to make that happen or that cancel on you last minute. Learning to cut those people out of your life that aren't reliable and put the people that are trustworthy and that are genuinely nice, kind people, keeping those people in your life. 12, hard work pays off. You really do get what you put in and I've noticed that in school for sure and then especially over this last year getting a raise because I worked really really hard and I had a really good work ethic 13 embrace yourself find your true self or find your true self and embrace that a lot of the times people try to please others and try to fit in and they neglect things that they personally like or or ways that they personally are 
I used to be afraid to tell people I played video games in high school and I used to be you know ashamed that I loved anime and I didn't drink and all that kind of stuff and that I really love like EDM music and, and it wasn't until this past year that I just kind of was like yeah I don't care what people think I am gonna do what I want to do and I used to get teased all the time for making videos but you know what I really like it I think it's an amazing thing to do and no one should make fun of something that someone loves 14 driving manual is a cool skill and it's useful and it's very liberating this past summer I learned how to drive manual and now when I go home I get to drive one of my parents manual cars and it's just it's such a cool thing it really did help me learn more about like how an engine works and it's like a dying thing there's only like five percent of car sales are manual cars but just being able to learn a new skill that's something I think really does make you grow as a person and it's a cool trade or cool thing to know 15 Music festivals are amazing and very much worth going to. One of my favorite things this past year was getting to go to Moonrise out in Baltimore and with a group of friends that I had grown up with and gone to school with years and years ago and to kind of rekindle our friendships and also make a lot of new friends. I had an amazing time and it's definitely made me, I plan on going to more in the future just because it's such a unique experience. I had gone to concerts since I was like 10 years old, but I'd never gone to a festival. And it's something I wish I'd, I'd started going to sooner. So I'm going to keep up with that. 16. The world we live in seems big, but it's also very, very small. There have been so many people that I've met that we had mutual friends or people that I run into or like meeting people out in Hawaii who knew people that I know on the mainland. Going to uh, a different state and and running into someone that knew someone it's just crazy how how connected we are and I think that's like a really good thing you can find a common interest with anyone and um, you'd be surprised at how far your connections can go 17 surround yourself with nature and try to go outside more <laughs> it's very grounding and it's it's just there's something so peaceful and so therapeutic about being in nature whether that's like going to the woods going to the beach going out on a walk outside just being outside is very very good for you 18 stay in touch with your siblings they have known you a very long time and you know they're they're family but they're also friends they've they've got your back that's what i'm trying to say um, this past year i definitely got way closer to my brother and very very close again with my sister and it's been really good to to have them and talk to them on a day-to-day -day basis 19. handwritten letters are always appreciated <laughs> and this is something i used to be made fun of for writing letters i've always like loved writing letters and sending letters and mailing letters and i think that's just partly having parents that are a bit older this is kind of i guess being an old soul and old-fashioned in a way i never really wanted that medium to die same with shooting on film on manual I got to send letters to friends this past year and then just to see them like still have them and it mean a lot to them when they got them as well as writing to my sister every single day when she was in boot camp this past fall just really made me acknowledge like how people really do appreciate in, a mo in this modern world where technology everyone sends everything digitally to occasionally send something that's like physical and hard copy I think is a really great gift and really appreciated 20. nourish your body with good foods foods with lots of nutrients try to get make sure that you have all your vitamins that you're eating a balanced diet and you're not like deficient in anything it really does affect everything you are what you eat 21. everything is temporary sometimes it might seem like you're in a dark place and it's never going to end but i assure you everything the world is always changing you're always growing and nothing lasts forever which can be a scary thing but can also be a very relieving thing if i'm in a bad mood like it might seem like it's not going to go away and i feel really sad but it does it always does go away you you go through highs you go through lows that's how you appreciate things on this earth because it doesn't last forever 22 listen to your body and how you feel a lot of the times i'm so caught up in my head i'm not really paying attention to how i'm physically feeling and it can be really detrimental in certain situations so 
really remember to stay grounded, to stay mindful, and to stay present and be aware of how you are feeling emotionally, physically, mentally, and, and make sure it's all unison. 23, be proactive with your health. You are your biggest advocate. 24, be sure to surround yourself with people. Do not isolate yourself. It's not good for you. Humans are social creatures and we really do need a sense of community. Uh, if you look into the world, the, the people that have the lar longest life expectancies are those that live in a really good, strong area that has an, a big sense of community. People look out for one another. Humans come in packs like we are. We're, we're not supposed to be lone wolves. We, we do have like a family basis, loved ones, relatives, like all of that's very important and it does help us like survive and do well. You, you will do well if you are around good people and you have a good support system. 25, don't settle. You deserve 100%. If someone is treating you badly, don't like continue to let them mistreat you. You need to learn to stand up for yourself and you need to stay strong. Don't let someone treat you like second choice. No one deserves to be mistreated and you should never, never put up with that. 26, stay vibrant. Try to stay positive. Try to stay happy. If you have this positive mindset, um, more positive things are gonna come into your life. Focus on what you have, be very grateful, and again, make remember that you are a positive light on this world and you do have an impact in it and its future. And along with that, I do wanna say, blondes do have more fun. I have loved being blonde this year and not going brunette back to brunette anytime soon. But those are, my 26 things I have learned at now that I'm 26 years old on um, this February 9th and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope some of this advice was helpful to you. This has been crazy. Bring on 2020 and I'm excited to be 26 this year. Yeah, thanks for watching.